New tonight in Maryland, the noise is getting out of control in Prince George's County. In fact, it's so bad, there's this effort now to make harsher penalties against people who are pumping up the volume. Yeah, so first time tickets could double from $500 to $1,000 for noise complaints. DC News Now's Tim Reed has reaction tonight from neighbors. Council President Jolene Ivey supports updating the noise ordinance. She says something needs to be done to make sure communities in Prince George's County have peace and quiet. I also spoke to some homeowners tonight who tell us they agree. Most people really just want to live in peace and harmony. And for the ones who don't, we need a way to go after them. Councilwoman Jolene Ivey says if this new and improved noise ordinance bill moves forward, violators can face hefty fines for being too noisy. People are really tired of having their peace disturbed. And this bill is going to really give us another tool to make sure that people who don't want to be respectful of other people um, have more consequences. So instead of a $500 fine, it's up to 1000 after this bill passes and goes into effect. The bill would prohibit the use of ATVs, dirt bikes, and snowmobiles within 300 feet of a property line. The bill also prohibits any noise vibrations that extend beyond your property line. Chevrolet resident Frank Plu agrees with the tougher penalties and wants his neighborhood quiet. For us, you know, one of the reasons we moved this neighborhood was uh, because it is quiet and, uh, and we like it that way. I, I think um, we don't have a huge problem with that in Chevrolet, but, uh, but I do think, you know, when, when it is a problem, it's very noticeable. The current ordinance became law back in 2018. Council members tell us there are some exceptions. Well, there's construction activities that you really can't regulate in this way. Um, lawn services, things of that nature. Things that are just the normal part of life um, are exempt. The county is expected to vote on this bill again in two weeks. In Largo, Maryland tonight, Tim Reed, DC News Now.